Hi, I'm Steve from the Stone Crafting Workshop again. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a heavy Yorkstone sign to a wall using hidden pin fixings. This particular sign is a Yorkstone sign. It's 40 mil thick and it weighs 10 kilos. But you can use this method to fix pretty much any size of sign and any weight of sign. It's a very strong fixing. We're going to fix the sign using two hidden pin stainless steel fixings in the back. The pins are 10 mil thick, so they're pretty heavy duty. And today in the workshop, I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, make sure you have a clean surface to work from. Get your stone sign and lay it face down. We're going to mark a center line on the top edge of the um, stone sign and that's just to let you line up the center when you put it on the wall. You need some strong thick-ish paper. This is wallpaper lining paper. <clears throat> just simply lay your sign face up on the paper and cut round it using a Stanley knife or a craft knife or a nice sharp workshop knife, it doesn't matter. We cut round it with enormous skin and dexterity and then we get rid of the waste paper carefully discarding it. Then picking up both the paper sign and the stone sign, just flip them over and put the stone sign face down on the bench. Line up your paper sign. There we go, nicely lined up. Find where the holes are and just put your finger or thumb in and make an indentation. You'll make a nice ring. I don't know if you can see that. I simply get a sharp pencil and put a mark through the middle of it. That's it. Make sure we're still lined up. Find the second hole. Sharp pencil in the middle of the ring. Make a little hole. And then write to wall. Okay. And if you want to, you can turn it over and you can write face. Before we go any further, I forgot to mention, um, use a rule and draw a horizontal line on the face of your paper template, um, just across the two pinholes to give you a horizontal pencil line. It'll help you line up the paper template with a horizontal line you're going to draw on the wall. Having done that, <coughs> we're now going to fit the pins. I've shown in more detail in previous videos how to do this, so let's just crack on. I'm going to use epoxy, two-part epoxy adhesive. Squeeze it out on a bit of paper. Get back on. Just use a craft knife to mix. Epoxy. I possibly haven't mixed enough, but never mind. Put some in the hole. Get your first pin, set it in the hole. Twist and turn and suck it out again, just to make sure there's no barrier of um, dust between the pin and the adhesive and the stone. In the hole, twist it around, force it in the hole. You can see it's you have to push them down in the hole and just line them up by eye and then just butter down this glue around the hole so there's not a big lump of glue that it's going to sit on when you fix it to the wall. I'm now going to make the template for getting the angle of the drill hole. 
could wait until the adhesive's gone off, but I, I'm in a hurry. So, using scissors, cut along the line. And that now gives you the angle at which you're going to drill the hole in the wall. That's all there is to it. Let's go outside, fit this to the wall. This adhesive would be gone off in 15 minutes. Um, so I'm just going to make a quick cup of coffee. Right. Let's position the paper template. <clears throat> wall side to the wall, face side out. And we're going to put the sign somewhere about there. I'm going to line the holes up with this horizontal joint in the brickwork. It's easier to drill into a horizontal joint. Um, first things first, let's draw, using a level, draw a horizontal line where we want the sign to go, which is there and there. And we line our sign up, where are we? There we are. With that horizontal line, we line this pencil line, the horizontal pencil line, up with those lines. And if you wanted to position it left or right, you really need to work off of a centre mark. But I don't care where it goes, so we're just going to do it now. Simply put your pencil through the hole and mark the wall. Make sure we've got that. Yep, we've got that one. Put it through to the wall and mark the wall there. Make sure we've got that one. And that's it done. That's it marked. I'm going to drill the wall first of all using a small pilot drill. This is about a quarter inch pilot drill. And then I'm going to enlarge the holes to 15 mil using a bigger drill bit. And I'm going to put this all on mute so that you don't have to hear the rain. Right, so we've drilled our holes. Let's offer up the stone sign. Line it up. Put it in. It's binding on the left hand pin. Just a bit, it's going to wedge in there. So we need to use the drill just to ream out one of the holes. I'll pick on this one. Just so We offer the sign up, it drops back to the wall, try our level, oh, it's only perfect, there we go, now, all we need to do to finish off, I mean that's hanging there perfectly solidly now, that would stay there for a hundred years as long as you didn't lift it out like that. simply going to use a no more nails type adhesive exterior grade fill the holes up and push the sign back into place push the sign back to the wall <coughs> Check our level, which is perfect. Job done. That's all for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I hope it's been of some use to you, more importantly. If you do use this method for fixing your house sign, let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know how you get on. Um, if you've liked the video, then give me a thumbs up. Um, it's always nice to get a little bit of encouragement. Um, I'm going to be making more videos on various forms of house of uh, stonework and uh, if you'd like to join me for those subscribe. Um, 
Otherwise, thank you for watching.